honestly, before you called me, I thought I was going to leave. I already had the feeling somehow because I had a dream. But then I was just hoping that Nigerians would be smarter this time around. But yet again, they, they disappointed me. I'm like, Nigerians, when do you guys ever learn? Like, <laughs> if anybody should still be in that game, I should be there. What do you There's mean? There's no other person like me in that house. They're all very sneaky, very, oh, I'll talk behind your back. Nobody really has balls. I have a lot of balls. Do you have a lot to say about Nigerians? If anyone should stay in the house, uh, it's me because I'm reality star gold. Nigerians are disappointment yet again. I thought they would be smarter than this time. I was hoping Nigerians would be smarter this time around, but yet again, they disappointed me. This is from Donye. It's not every conversation that is had in that house that's portrayed on the outside. That's one thing people need to know. The first thing that upset me, that made me and Baye start having issues, was when Angel came to come because I had seen that she went to reconcile with Benita, but yeah. I called her, we spoke about it, it wasn't a big deal. But then when Angel came to come and tell me that Baye had had a conversation with her, that was that conversation upset me because she could have had that conversation with me because I begged her, talk to me, what's the problem? She said nothing. She didn't tell me. She had had a conversation with Mercy. She had had a conversation with Venita. She had had a conversation with Sissy where she said to them that she felt, she started feeling like I was just doing the friendship for strategy. And my heart broke. And I was like, babe, like, even if you felt that way, come, let's do, as in this, you don't understand the closeness that me and that babe had. That was my <laughs> sister. For me, I looked at her as a younger sister. Like, nobody was going to fight that babe. And they were not, I didn't even care if they didn't like me. I was ready. But I just felt like many times we will fight and I'm going to go call you every time. Let's talk about this thing. Every time I'll be the one reaching out, reaching out. And I told her, if I do something to you, these people are trying to split up, split us up. Just come and tell me. Let's have a conversation about it first. But she would just keep it to herself and start ignoring me. I will come the follow and then I'll have a, I was just tired of reaching out. And then she was then telling people that, oh, I was doing it for strategy. And that really broke my heart because I'm like, babe, you know that that's not true. So I don't know. I, I I don't think that I handled it very well, to be fair. I think I was so upset because I felt like, how can you take Benita's words? Especially Benita that I just had a fallout with like 30 minutes ago because of you over me that we don't they do this thing together since. Like, at least give me a chance to explain myself. So that anger and the fact that, you know, Sissy had come to meet me and this baby said they do have a strategy. And Angel also told me the same thing. It was too much. That anger, I just was talking to people about it. And that was where I fucked up. But I'm a human being. I'm not here to say that I'm perfect. But I'm not perfect by any means. But I was hurt that why you go the talk, say, I did do strategy. And I think for me, what finally made me just give up, I was just like, I was in the dressing room that day. Benita, um, Baye was there. Benita was there. And Benita called Baye. I was like, Baye. You are free from the devil now, Abby. You are having fun. But he was like, I'm having fun. And they did a high five. And I knew that I was the devil. Oh my I God. went to the toilet and I bawled my eyes out. That day, I thought about calling her to have a conversation. I was just like, why? I, I was just weak. Because I was just like, at what point is somebody going to give back to me what I'm giving to them? Hmm. I get that, you know, I, I was saying a lot of... I was saying things about her to people. That is wrong, by all means, because she was my friend at that point. But at that time when I was doing this, she didn't feel like a friend. Because this was somebody that would, with Venita of all people, you say, yes, I'm free for the devil. Venita say, how is your mental health? Now she says, it's amazing. They did high five and I was just there. I felt so stupid. So that came, I was, I was pained also. So yeah. people need to understand that I'm also, and, and even in the friendship, there were so many times I felt like she wasn't giving me back. I would ask her, what are they saying about me? You'll be in the conversation. I'm not even saying, don't defend me. Don't stand up for me. Don't say that doing, no, it's not doing. Just come and tell me, say, baby, did they talk this? Just give me a heads up. I will ask you, she'll say, I don't want to talk about it because it's not my business. And I was like, babe, I've made you my business. We are, I feel like we should be each other's business. Like you cannot be telling me it's not my business. It's not my business all the time, like when it comes to me. So it was just too many things and I flipped, I did. Yeah, you did. Okay, so let's take a call. Uh, Muturayo. Hey. <laughs> Muturayo, hi. Hi, Muturayo. good evening. Hi. Show the call. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 
can hear you. If she if she's not on the call, I'm going to take someone else. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay, so what question do you have for doing here? My question is, but you never said anything. By Please, can you speak up a little bit? My question is, but you never spoke bad about you, even when you guys are always quarreling. But you are always in every conversation they're having with Baye saying bad things about her. You two to yourself, is that friendship? She what the you one? She said, is that friendship that you are always speaking bad about Baye? Baye never spoke bad about you. For you, is that friendship? Okay, based on the way you ask the question, I'm going to say no. That is not friendship. Or based on the fact that you have very limited resources because you were not on the show you only have the information that was given to you i would ask you to have some mercy on me and imagine that what if you never heard all the conversations because Baye cannot come out and say she never spoke to you about me but we cannot. all seen the was show. it Baye there was there you i don't know but it wasn't there fair. were conversations. See, there were conversations. I feel like you like I feel like you love us so much, yeah. And then when the issue about you guys happened, you are always in I remember when you Mercy Angel and I think no, it was Mercy by Angel and some other some someone else, Sha. They were talking about you. Baye didn't say anything. She was just looking. They were even making fun of you. Baye did not say anything. But people were commenting that, ah, if it was doing, doing that said a lot, a lot, lot, lot. So I, I need to be able to be accountable. I've said it that, you know, I talk a lot more than Baye talks. Baye is able to be yeah. quiet. But you know the difference also? There are conversations that before we fell out, when I was in a conversation and it was about Baye, instead of me keeping quiet, I would defend her. When we fell you out... You don't defend her. Uh, you don't... You are always you know, saying out. things, and then and then in the in your diary section with Big Brother, you said you you said to Big Brother, Baye is an horrible person, and now you are saying it that you never said she's a bad person. You said that you were crying, everybody was feeling for you, like ah, and then you just spot everything when you were like, Baye is an horrible person. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever? Can you imagine? Can you play a picture where you imagine a friendship where you're like, you know what? This is my sister. And then yeah. that person, and let me finish. And that, and then that person, every time you've needed that person to be there, they've given you an excuse of, sorry, it's not my business. And every time you've had the conversation with them, what they've said is, hey, maybe I don't know how to love. Don't worry, I'll learn. At what point? Would what if she not don't know how to love? What if, what if she does? She doesn't know how to love actually. What okay, Mutura, you can take just me. limited questions from me because we also have to. All right, um, Mutura, I'm a human oh, being. Yeah. No, don't, I don't want you to think that. I know you are a human being. Oh, Everybody was. We all we all have our limits. We, we all, all feel for you like, when you, know what, you are. Okay, when, let me tell you, we all feel for you when you were in the diary room with um Big Brother and when you broke down, you were like, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, you're a nice girl and I love how you talk. I love how you your confidence. Yeah. I'm going to put it that way. Bye. All right. Thank you so much. Hello, God. It's gone as community. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm what, not with that God. Look at what you started. Uh, gone, gonna, gone, gone, gone. Me, I'm yeah. gone. This nigga is gone. It's like, there's no, there's nothing you guys will do. He's gone. I'm just saying. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Marvin. Have you seen Marvin? I've seen Marvin. I've seen Marvin like twice. Do you know that Cosy and I were supposed to have dinner today? Yes, sir. I thought you had your makeup yesterday. No, we're supposed to make up today. That's why she called me after that meeting. 